Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome to Ver Verbling. <laughs> Forgot where I was. Welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley, and uh, in the next hour, uh, although the class is listed as a basic reading comprehension class, which it is, we're going to be doing a little reading, a little vocabulary work, uh, some uh, comprehension identification of themes, because we're going to read some ironic, humorous little stories. So uh, we're going to have to figure out why are they ironic, what's funny about them. And also a little discussion and conversation in the class. So we're going to be doing all kinds of things in this class. And taking turns with different students, doing reading, vocabulary questions, maybe an opinion question, etc. So a little bit of everything class for you. And a perfectly good class for really any level. We'll be doing some very basic, easy stuff. And uh, maybe a little more complicated speaking opinions. Uh, so everyone, anyone, any level can join. Uh, hello, Christian. Welcome to the class. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Uh, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Christian, uh, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, that's oh, I. We've met before. I, I forgot. Been a while. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining the class. And Yuki, welcome back. Hello. Hello again. Hello again. Okay. Let's just jump right in, shall we? I'm going to do a screen share. We're just going to, I'm going to have you, uh, one of you gentlemen, read the piece, and then uh, we'll talk about it. Hang on a second. I need to adjust the size. Okay. All right. Uh, here comes the screen share. Here we go. All righty then. Okay. Here it is. All right. Uh, Yuki, why don't you do the honors and uh, read the passage okay. for us. My pleasure. Yeah. Once a soldier asked his commanding officer for a day's for a day's living to attend his sister's wedding. The the officer asked him to wait outside the door for, for a few minutes while he considered the request. Okay. The officer Yep. The officer then called the called the sol soldier back in, in and said, "You you a liar. I've just phoned your si sister and she told me she's already married." Okay. Well, well, sir, you are you are an you are an even bigger liar. The the soldier replied. Because I don't even have a sister. Uh huh. Okay. And I, I don't. I don't get it. Do you get it? Okay, in English. All right. This is kind of what the class is about. Do you get it? <laughs> Do you understand why this story is kind of humorous and ironic? Christian. Christian, do you get it? Uh. Um. About this story? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, that I understand. Um, it's a story about a soldier. Um, uh, so I can read <laughs> the first part. I I I'm, I'm, I I so um, so I remember the last page. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, okay, so the premise, the premise is, okay, here's some language you can use to talk about a story and reporting a story, you're going to use reported 
speech. All right. So the premise of the story, or the situation is, all right, the premise is the beginning part of a story. Okay, so the premise of the story is that a soldier is asking for a day's leave. Okay, what's a day's leave? And by the way, Yuki, you accidentally yes. said a day's leaving, it, mm -hmm. uh, but it should be a day's leave. It uh, means a holiday. Ho holiday, no? but yes, but we, it's only used for the military. You go on, you're on leave, we normally say. When you're in the military and you have time off, you're on leave. Okay, so the soldier, the premise is the soldier's asking for leave. Okay, why? To attend his sister's wedding. Mm -hmm. Right? And the officer tells him to go outside. He comes back in. Mm -hmm. And the officer calls him a liar because he, he says, I phoned your sister and she told me she's already married. But then the soldier says, I don't even have a sister. <laughs> You're a bigger liar. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, I, I got it. <laughs> now, on the other, you get it. Okay. The irony of the story is obviously that the soldiers calling the commanding officer a liar, a bigger liar. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, because sorry. the soldier. Uh, no, I, it's a funny story. It's good because the soldier doesn't even have a sister. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, we, we've asked, we've already answered the question. Leave here, okay? To attend. What does to attend mean in the story? We're uh, Juan. Um, and to go to the wedding, to um, mm -hmm. yeah, to, to attend, to yes, to to attend, okay. to participate in the wedding. All right, of, to be uh, present at, yeah, to mm -hmm. be oh, okay, yes, okay. Thank you. to be yeah, present yeah. at see the the wedding of his uh, fictional sister. Okay, his fictional sister. Very good, <laughs> good English. <laughs> All right, okay, Christian. <laughs> yes. All right, here's your big question, Christian, and tell us honestly. Can you remember telling such a lie? Have you ever lied to get time off from work or school? Uh, uh, this question, uh, can you remember telling such lies? Uh, such uh, This word, uh, I can, um, I don't understand uh, what is the mean uh, such lies. Uh, it's a... Um, ah. Good question. Okay, such lies is referring back to the story. We use such. Ah, this is. Uh, we're kind of using such like in the same way that we use a pronoun to refer back to information which was previously discussed. Okay, the same way that we use a pronoun. The commanding officer lied to the soldier. He told them him that he had called his sister. Okay, instead of saying the commanding officer over, I use he. In this question, Christian, such lies, we're referring, we're kind of referring back to uh, the lies told by the officers or the soldiers, actually. We're, we're not really saying which one, because they both lied, actually. <laughs> However, I did a give you a little extra information because I said, can you remember telling such lies? Have you ever lied to get out of work or school? Um, I'll, 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 <laughs> um, I'm not fluent. Um, it's okay. I, um... Uh, to, um, I don't. I, do you ever? Uh, did you ever ever tell a lie, so you could get time away from school, for example? All right. I if I um, lie um, any time or 
Oh, okay. Anytime. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever? So any, any time in the past. Okay. Any one time. Uh, I don't lie. Um, you oh, you so don't lie. That I re oh, okay, I, I, I lie, but I remember. Um, <laughs> 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 but I remember. So I, I came, I came. So I now came from my job. Uh, I, I lie. Uh, um, uh, uh, before to leave my work or my job. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Because uh, I worked uh, at um, uh, 11, uh, 23 hours. Um, oh my! Here, <laughs> I I, uh, I don't I don't know what to say that. Um, <laughs> I leave my work. <laughs> you left your work because you had worked for 23 hours, 23 hours in a row. Uh, no, uh, I work at the um, at uh, um, a fifteen hour. No, it's a military hour. <laughs> uh, at the eleven, um, uh, a third of the um, third p.m. Ah, uh, okay. PM. Three p.m. Uh, to, to this hour to eleven. PM. To eleven. Okay, okay. But I leave my work and I lie. <laughs> You lie. What? What did you? What lie did you say? What lie did you tell? I'm sorry. You should always say tell lies. You don't say lies. Bad English teacher. What lie <laughs> did you tell? Okay. Uh, I'm. I'm a lie to my to my chip. Uh huh. Because it's uh, it's too late. And I say it. Uh, I say him uh, that I'm. S uh, sick. Ah, that you were sick. A, uh, okay, I um I have a, a head pain or an I don't know, I don't know what to say that. Uh, mm, I'm sick. Uh, I have a pain on my head, but it's a lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Christian, you should say I you, reported speech. I said to him. Or I told him, and you can say that you had a headache. Head. All right, a headache. Ah, yeah, okay. pain in your head. head. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I know what it's a headache. It's a head uh, pain. I don't know what what word to use uh, in this case. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that's what we're here to do. We're going to learn English. So there you go. Now you know. A headache. Okay. Uh, all right. Very funny. Okay. Juan, you're, uh, how's your fictional girlfriend? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I'm texting her right now. Ah, okay. Uh, she's getting better, so I, I can yeah. stay for for the rest of the class. Oh, that's good. I'm <laughs> happy to hear that. Very good. Christian, well, fi mm -hmm. fictional, all right? Fiction uh, are books that are not true. They're not things that really happen. Non-fiction are books that are absolutely facts, okay? So fiction... Mm -hmm. Like fictional people are made up characters, just oh. made up. So oh. when I asked Juan about his fictional girlfriend, <laughs> meaning that he made her up, she doesn't really exist. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, like, how can we say? How can we say in such case? Well, unreal, unreal, or sorry, I exist. Uh, how can I say say in such case? Uh, uh, instead of uh, fictional, how can I say? Uh, uh, un what's unreal, unreal girlfriend or uh, not to exist. Unreal? Oh, oh, you might unreal. say, okay. Okay, so you're asking what is another way to say the same thing? Imagine, imaginary, maybe. Imaginary yes. girlfriend. That's exactly what I was going to say. Imaginary girlfriend. Exactly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but she's not imaginary be 
Juan just hasn't found her yet. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she's real. We just don't know where she is. Yeah, she's you lost. take it philosophical. There yeah. are many options. Right. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely true. Yuki. Now I. I don't. Uh, I. Yuki, have you ever lied to get out of work or school? I, I I used to I used to I used to, I used to take a lie when I worked in Tokyo. Okay. Before, I when when I want to I want to when I wanted to uh, take a break, take a vacation from work. Uh -huh. I I I often said that my my grandmother had died. I I. I, 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 I have to attend a funeral, <laughs> and I, I, I repeated such a lie sometimes, but my boss is a smart man, he, he has a good memory, so, uh -huh. <laughs> so once once I said such a thing, uh, my, my grandfather, grandmother had Unfortunately, my grandfather, grandmother had died. This mm -hmm. is, I, 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 I must attend a funeral. He, he remember <laughs> what I said yeah. before, and he <laughs> said, oh, "Do you have two or three grand <laughs> grandmother?" He answered. <laughs> How many grandparents <laughs> do you have? <laughs> yeah. I was laughing I when you told upset the, them. I was laughing when you told the story because as a manager, I have been the manager where that happened. <laughs> okay, let's see. You're on your fifth grandparent is dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. How many grandparents <laughs> do you possibly have? No, I, 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 too know. far. Yeah. I say, laughed too because too many. Thank um, you. Uh, my mom once told me a story. Uh, she she's a teacher too, uh -huh. of a student who, <laughs> who used that same line. Yes, that's a famous one. <laughs> Actually, my my, uh, I have to share this with you just because. Okay, uh, when I was in the United States, I was living in Vermont, and in Vermont, it's a very mountainous, forested area. There's big, huge forests and mountains. And uh, I once had a, this was way before cell phones, okay? So it's, there were no cell phones. This is a long time ago. And uh, yes, there was a time when there were no cell phones. And people existed just fine without them. I believe in any case, you. Yes. I, I know, know that time. time. <laughs> yes, okay. In any case, I once had uh, one of my workers call me and said, I'm lost in the forest. And I can't come to work today <laughs> because I'm lost in the forest. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yes, that, that was his excuse. Oh, sorry. I, said, I, said, I, I have just remembered so many lies I I, I really? get normally in my job of just, uh, with with uh, cell phones and. And uh, excuses that are just well, you, you you really have to to be very naive about <laughs> technology to, to 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 really believe that uh -huh. th those uh, those lies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just craziness. Uh, yeah, yeah, too I, much I also, I, It's you know, like I've, the typical. Yeah, too many I sent I sent an email. And it never got there. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yes, check your spam folder. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a famous one. I, I actually, I just reminded me, so I have to share these with you because they're just mm -hmm. amusing. Yes. I've been a manager for many years, so I've heard lots of total baloney. Uh, I also had a girl call me once and said, I'm sorry, boss, I can't come to work today. I just feel too sad to come to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I replied, well, you're going to feel even sadder because now you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't have a job anymore. 
So go ahead and be sad. Be very sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, I'm so you know, cruel. I, you I work TV at a on company. TV yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Juan. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I work at a company that they actually. At first, I thought it was a lie, but it it makes uh, sense, and they actually did it. That they monitor. Uh, traffic, not only in the news, but with other sources. The the traffic, uh, because it, it, it is a, a company that is outside of the capital with okay. a lot of workers. Well, not only that company, many similar companies are located there. Uh -huh. So, well, uh, since it's a small country, there's literally only one main big uh, super big highway with two lanes uh -huh. so rush hour you can imagine how it gets uh, geez, yeah at, I can at the at that time in the morning and many times uh, there are schedules where you have to be on your desk at 6 a.m. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. which are uh, the worst 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 even at 6 a.m. Uh, uh, so rush they, hours Okay. So uh, a a good a good excuse is always uh, traffic jam. Uh, ah. Well. <laughs> because yeah, because okay. they 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 really happen. Right. 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 People right, abuse. Right. So they actually did monitor the because uh, many local news channels they they gave reports live with uh -huh. their own uh, helicopters. There, there right. is like the the biggest one here. Uh, they have they own a helicopter, so they mm -hmm. they do the the traffic reports uh, live okay. from the right. air. So they had people watching all those channels. I got gotcha. you. So <laughs> so that they know if there's really a traffic jam or not. Exactly. Uh huh. So and, better. Uh, I also I also once uh, work in, as an IT, giving support in, uh, an IT with a company we had which had a fleet of uh, drivers. Uh huh. And they uh, installed they they had installed the uh, GPS tracking devices. Mm hmm Well, I gave the support for the for the devices and all the uh, okay. technical stuff. Okay. But uh, uh, and many times I, I also help them with the the role of monitoring where the <laughs> the, the unit really was. Yeah. Okay. So they were like, I'm stuck here. It doesn't move, and I was watching the unit mm -hmm. actually moving <laughs> in a completely <laughs> different way. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, taking that even one further step, I worked in a very large BPO. I mean, really, the, the complex of offices and many buildings, it's basically like a, a half a kilometer one way and a kilometer the other. It's really a monstrously huge place. They actually made the IT guys, especially... The IT guys had to carry around a GPS on them, just walking around in the grounds. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, I'm in the training facility. No, you're not. You're in the cafeteria. <laughs> really, they did that. Uh, crazy. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, another story. I'm going to do a screen share. Christian, I would like you to... Try reading this one for me, and uh, see if we can if we can get it if we can comprehend what the irony is. Christian, go ahead when you're ready from staying. Okay, staring at a hotel in Yarmouth, I couldn't sleep because the television in the residence lounge was so loud, as mm -hmm. I could see from the top of the of the stairs, the launch was in total darkness. So I crept downstairs in my pajamas. I Good. went to the TV and of 
and and after oh, and after some fumbling with the knobs, I managed uh, to switch it to switch it off. As I turned to leave, I suddenly became aware of a semicircle of people sitting in the dark who, who up until that moment had been enjoy, enjoying a television program. Okay, we're good. Oh. Crit, why? <laughs> Hang on, we'll get to that. <laughs> Christian, uh, <laughs> be careful when you're pronouncing past tense verbs with ed. Uh, only, we only pronounce an extra sound, an extra syllable, id, when the verb ends with a T or D. So, for example, managed, not managed. 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 Better. Managed. And same thing with turned. 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 Right, not turned. 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 Oh. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, Yuki. Yes, yes. Before we, we get to the actual comprehension part, what is a lounge? Lounge is a room for, for it's a public sitting room in the hotel. There you go. Very See. good. That's right. Excellent. Uh, okay. One. To creep means what is creep as a verb? Uh, uh, to scare, to wait. make, to make uh, your mind um, go like crazy about uh, a very nasty thing or a situation. <laughs> uh, okay, not exactly. No. What do you? Move Move quiet, quietly. Move quietly. Now I know yes. what you're thinking, Juan. To creep is the verb. So to creep means that you, um, okay. Uh, for example, you see in the, you see in the cartoons like Tom and Jerry. You see, you see them doing this, like with this. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Creeping along. Okay, I know what you're thinking though. You're thinking of the noun, a creep. Uh, a creep yeah. is a, a creepy person, adjective. A creep is a uh, uh, disgusting, possibly evil, somebody who maybe makes you scared uh, or who is socially, just socially unacceptable. It, the person is a creep. We often in English, I might say, that guy creeps me out. Mm -hmm. I'm creeped out by... So creep out or creeped out. I'm creeped out by that guy. It means he makes me nervous and scared and I, uh, makes me not feel emotionally good. Mm -hmm. That guy's creeping me out. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, that was the one. I, I had never yeah. heard until now. That. So I can say creep. Uh, in um, for referring like a synonym for for hopping, not really hopping. It's moving slowly, stealthily. Actually, uh, do you know stealth? Uh, stealth, like stealth bomber, secretly, very quietly. So mm -hmm. if you think about it, the the other meaning, the noun creep, a creep would be somebody who creeps around, following you, watching what you do. For example. Ooh, creepy. Uh, why, like why is that guy ca following? Okay, so to move like in a very uh, calculated and meticulous way. Yes, that's that's a lot better. Like a cat, that's kind of why I brought up when a cat uh -huh. is hunting a mouse, they kind of creep along the floor as they... Mm -hmm. A creep oh, is nice. al not quite, it's almost, it's almost similar to like stalk. It's like... Hunt, you know that, like when a cat crawls or along the along the floor. Okay, all right, uh, Christian. Christian. Yes. Yes. Oh, hang on, I gotta bring up the. 
-hmm. Can you uh, in the meantime? Can I ask? Um, yes. Can Can you say that, uh, like for example, a SWAT, um, a SWAT uh, a personal creeps while uh, in uh, duty? A uh, a SWAT person? You You mean like a SWAT police officer like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, for, for example, like like ah. when they are surrounded, when they have the like in the movies, the the bad uh -huh. guy already in the uh, let's say the house, so they are making up this tragedy, and uh -huh. Uh -huh. when they attack, they creep because they they yeah. normally yeah yeah um, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but they they move quickly. Creep means slow, uh, uh, move, move slowly, quietly. That's that's true. I think SWAT, SWAT people uh, move quickly. Um, What's uh, uh, yeah, uh, of course, of course, it, uh, quietly, but but quickly. Yeah, nice. in the end, but I think they creep up to their position. I think they uh, do. They kind of go slowly, and then one, two, three, go, and then they uh, all run, right? Yeah. So it I get, on the movie. get it. It depends on the movie, <laughs> exactly. Mm. Yes, okay, yes. but as I put in the chat box, if you creep up on somebody, for example, holy crap, you know, you, you scared me. Don't creep up on me like that. Uh, okay. Scare. Oh, scare I some, might someone. say, don't creep up on me. It means that you quietly approach me. I didn't see you coming. You scared me. Don't creep mm -hmm. up on me like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so uh, the, the emphasis is on quietly moving. Uh, so, uh, like a ninja? Like a ninja. Yeah, ninjas <laughs> creep everywhere they go. Very good, Christian. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Okay. All right, Christian. Another, another vocabulary question for you. To blank means to move the hands awkwardly to do something or find something. To blank. Fumble, okay. manage, switch, reside. Mm, uh, let me think. Uh, let me move. Uh, means uh, it's a. Uh, means I have a. Uh, so many means. Well, right. which which word is it? Fumble. Uh, this is the see. definition. Move your hands awkwardly. To do something. Fumble. Uh, is it fumble, manage, switch, reside? Which do you think? A, B, C, D. Uh, uh, manage. I I don't I don't know if it is manage, but fumble. I uh, I don't know what is what I mean this this word fumble. Fumble. Uh, well, what, what, Christian, fumble means to move your hands awkwardly <laughs> <laughs> to do yeah. something or to it find something <laughs> or drop something. Um. Okay. He handed me the cell phone and I fumbled it and dropped it. Okay, I fumbled it. I you move your hands awkward. Ah, oh, oh dear, uh, I fumbled okay. it. Um, um, so fumbled, fumbled can fumbled, mean to fumbled, drop. When you, in okay. the dark. Yeah. You, you fumble in the dark the, for the light switch. You you mm -hmm. search and search. You fumble for the light switch. Uh, for example. Find out uh, what is the switch. To yeah, turn you're, you're, light. you're moving your hands in a sort of awkward way. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Also, in American football, Christian, you ever watch American football? Football? Uh, no. Um, in Columbia, uh, so um. The kind where you can I use your hands. Basketball. <laughs> All right. Kind of where you can use it. Sorry, okay. that was a very good one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, American football. They when they 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 run the ball, they hold the ball. It's a lot like rugby. When they drop the ball, it's called a fumble. Oh. You hear the whistle, fumble, and the referee will throw a little yellow handkerchief out of his pocket. Which indicates a fumble in American football. It means he dropped the ball. He did something awkward and he dropped the ball. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so fumble can be used um, as a noun. It, it is used when, but only when, when it is by mistake. 
Like, you know. Yes, that's it. You got it. Very good. Okay. That, that's the idea. Okay, very good. All miss right. The ball. Yeah, miss, is, is, miss, the, miss the ball. Miss the football. Of, miss Not the, miss. Drop because of drop. Ac uh, accident. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes you you fumble. Somebody's handing you something, and you and you don't grab it well, and you uh, and you drop it. You fumble it. Drop a ball after catching. Yeah. Yeah, it could be Do after drop catching. Drop a ball after catching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't have okay. to be a ball. You can fumble anything. You can fumble anything. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. Yuki, a knob. Number four, a knob is a. I can't oh. see. I can see the screen. Well, then that makes it more please, challenging. Please okay. switch. <laughs> <laughs> I only more, can see your face. It's okay. just more challenging that way. Okay. The, All right. The, a knob is. Here you go. A, a knob. What is a knob? It is easy. It it is easy. A knob is a round handle. A round handle, See. sure, which you turn to get into a door, to use a door, of course. Yes. Okay. All right. One, if you can even remember our story, <laughs> if you can even remember what was going on there. All right. Staying at a hotel. Okay. What is the premise? What? Okay. Let's start with that. What is the situation? What is the premise? Um. Uh, so many, so many uh, sounds in a lounge, and mm -hmm. um, they um, when they stay at the at the hotel, they can't sleep. The the uh, call, uh okay, they mm -hmm. couldn't sleep. That's right. I think it's not they. I think it's one person because it's I couldn't sleep. He. He or she. Actually, we don't really know, do we? Uh, all right, the person couldn't sleep because of the noise. That is the premise or the situation. Very good, Christian. Okay. And uh, what is amusing about this story, Juan? Uh, he, when he went to the lounge, uh, okay. uh, uh, it is quite. It it is. Um, it is uh, it it was dark. Right, that's right. It's light. What light was turned off, and mm -hmm. uh, it was dark dark around around there. But but to tele, but to telev television is uh, working. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. And yes, and he uh, and she he. He he managed he managed to uh, turn off the tele television in the dark. After this, uh, after this, uh, someone someone said. Uh, after this, he he felt that that some someone someone around someone someone there is someone around 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 him. Uh huh. Exactly. That's the part. That's the part. I don't I don't understand where. What's that? That's the part of the story. What? I understand, okay. but uh, yes. Is there something uh, you don't understand? Understand, but uh, it is not funny. It's not funny. No, it's not that funny. It's not uh, funny. It, it no, is, not really. It is not, not a joke. It, it, it is depends. Not Honestly, okay. Let's talk about that. It no. depends on your culture. Honestly. <laughs> Le um, because as an American, if I saw someone out in public in their pajamas, mm -hmm. it would be a source of embarrassment for that person. Or if you're in your underwear, for example, and uh -huh. you're caught in public, it would be a, a very embarrassing situation. So it might be a funny story. On the other hand, where I currently live in the Philippines, People, I see people go to the mall in their pajamas <laughs> here. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, outside, huh? outside, you see people yeah. in their pajamas all the time here. It's not it's, unusual it's whatsoever. Strange. Yeah, you, you even see people like men in their boxer shorts, boxer underwear, walk will walk <laughs> down to the store on the corner in their in their underwear. It's very normal. Uh, it, 
uh, because it it's hot that there. Yeah. Yeah, it's hot, but still, but, I find uh, it traditional. Very strange. Traditional, <laughs> traditional underwear, underwear, or like 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 boxers, you know. Like <laughs> boxers. <laughs> Yeah. Naked though. Oh, yeah. Not not naked, but in boxers. Not not like tidy whities not like white briefs, what we call briefs. Yeah, but, but even so well I don't know, I, I, I can understand um, how hot it may get, but there are like alternatives. <laughs> yeah, there to are the, to the boxers, but Yeah, there but are more like uh, Obviously there are there are alternatives because I use alternatives. I don't <laughs> walk to this store in my boxers. Yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> sure. yeah. I even go so far as to wear a shirt if I'm going out in public. But <laughs> hey, that's me. Sorry, Oakley. I'm not making fun of you. It's, it's just it's that I, okay. could, I, I, I never thought that that it's situation okay. really could happen in a. It really does. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to ask, Christian, do people in Brazil ever walk around in the street in their pajamas? Uh, or in, in their underwear? I, I never uh, traveled to Brazil, but um, oh. they have uh, so many um, um, parties on the street. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, right. that's right. Um, they yeah. have uh, so many uh, parties on the street. and. So many women, um, I, I want to say that, uh, um, street uh, girl, no, uh, no, no, um, okay, and pajamas never, <laughs> never, <laughs> they, 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 pajamas they never, never. <laughs> pajamas never, they, I, I never seen that uh, they walk on the street, uh, at the pajamas, okay, and pajamas. But you're you're going to tell us something about the women. <laughs> I think you were. Were you, were you going to say that women were wearing underwear like a negligee? Uh, Economic uh, clothing. Uh, uh, so she she um she dancing on the street. Uh -huh. uh, she dancing on the street uh, in caravans. Uh, okay. That's a word. Caravans. Uh, and she she dances uh, in in bikini. <laughs> ah, bikini. Uh, okay, uh, there you go. Right. All right. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, everybody is naked. Uh, not naked. Uh, <laughs> naked. Uh, uh, <laughs> not naked. Almost naked. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, where, yes, where is that uh, place? <laughs> 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 Uh, be I booking. never. <laughs> I, I see uh, this on the television, but I never try okay. to to Brazil. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why. What? Uh, what? What? What were they in the lobby in in this story? I mean, what? What were they? What, they were. What were they doing? What were what they, they, what, what they doing in the ah. lobby, in the dark? They, they were watching why, the TV. Why, why, why they, oh, sorry, why they, why, they, why were they watching TV in the dark? Why? Uh, uh, why? Why they, uh, um, why were they watching TV in the dark? I'm not sure, but I watch TV in the dark. Sometimes yeah, it's uh, it's like uh, that's uh, I found that that is like uh, personal. Yeah, understand, un understand. Like. But it it is a lobby of the hotel hotel, yeah. Yeah. Why in the dark? Well, that's that. You're right. That is a little strange to watch it in the dark yeah. in the lobby of a hotel. Yes. But on the other hand, perhaps they were watching a scary movie. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Or a film. Understand. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that's point. that's possible. Ah, understand. Which people might that might be their personal uh, Juan, You were saying your personal like, but we often use the phrase personal <laughs> preference. Ah. Okay, thank you. Personal yeah. preference. Personal preference. Some people like to watch. Yeah, TV because uh, uh, as a, a side comment, uh, mm -hmm. I, I once read 
because I, I also like or prefer to, to watch in the dark uh, TV. Mm -hmm. that, that it is not uh, healthy for for the eyes to watch oh, really? the TV. Yeah. In the dark, really? In the dark, yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, it's too uh, late for I, me. Now I, now, I, now I understand it's a funny story. Mm. Well, it's, it's okay. It, uh, yeah, <laughs> again. And I also wanted to make a, a, yeah. a comment. Yeah, go ahead, Juan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I do find it funny, but not in a way of like uh, uh, making uh, um, with with bad intention fun of the, of a person. It's just like uh, since it's something that doesn't happen often, that will make you uh, smile or, or um, uh, have a laugh. But uh -huh. but also I agree with you. It it depends on the on the culture and also the uh -huh. kind of person. Some some people would uh, and and if you can help me, how can you refer to you know, or what is the word in English f when someone um, uh, laughs but is uh, is being inside, uh, <laughs> uh, but in in the but with mean intention. Is it, ah. is it uh, making fun of? Or could yeah. you also, or do you also use, um, I was laughing or making fun, mm -hmm. but like in this case, in a healthy okay. or, or not. Uh, okay, not let's, let's, all right, let's, t let's expand on the vocabulary. All right, I, I myself, just my opinion, I would say this is a mildly amusing Story. What does about it the, mean? Oh, uh, something story. is amusing. Um, something is uh, hilarious. It makes you laugh out loud. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it was hilarious. So funny. Something that is amusing is the kind of thing like what Juan was talking about where mm, it makes you smile, mm -hmm. but you're not going to laugh out loud. Mildly amusing. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It makes me smile briefly. Something amusing makes you happy. Um, it's uh, it has to do with humor. It's it's a little mm -hmm. bit funny. Okay. Um, uh, is it, is now, it because it has? Okay. No, I was going to say when, when you're talking about when somebody's laughing at someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we have a joke in English. Really, are you laughing? I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Okay, mm -hmm. there's a big difference, all right, mm -hmm. um, in the, because of the preposition. I'm laughing at you is like an attack, like I throw a rock mm -hmm. at you. Okay, I'm that's tr what I... I'm trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. If I throw a, a rock to you, here, catch, all right. I'm um, throwing it to you. I'm trying to transfer it. Yeah, uh, and I also o always have uh, this confusion. Does the word mock refers to the ah, same thing. because yes. I, I I I usually uh, use it, but I'm not really sure if I'm doing it in a correct way because I, I use it for like uh, uh, in um, what was the example? Well, like in the example, laughing with the person, not at the person, not yeah. attacking. So uh, I would like yeah. to know. if you're mocking someone. You're making derogatory statements about them to hurt them. You're mocking them. You're trying to hurt them. Uh, okay. Uh, of course, not necessarily. Uh, okay, if I'm, I could mock President Obama. Of course, he's not going to be very upset with whatever I have to say. And furthermore, I really don't think that the National Security Agency is going to report to Obama. Teacher Oakley was mocking you on the Verbling channel. <laughs> I seriously <laughs> doubt it. But I could Snowden, mock him Snowden, in a class. Snowden, yeah. 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 Snowden <laughs> inform you to... Uh, yeah, now, yeah, now he's busy. Yeah. He's That's busy right. with serious. Right, he is busy. Yeah. yeah, he's very busy right now. So I'm pretty sure he would ignore me even if I was mocking him. I'm saying der derogatory things, but he wouldn't even obviously oh. care. And anyway, you're, uh, 
yeah, Yuki, actually, if Snowden would tell him, then actually Snowden would be telling Putin, not Obama. Yes, Snowden, <laughs> now, now he's he, now he now he's in Russia. Putin's yes. buddy. No. I, I expect to, any day now to see uh, a press release with uh, Putin and Snowden in a boat with a giant fish catching monstrous fish. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they'll go fishing together. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would, it would yeah. be great. I Talk didn't about. see such, such a picture. No, I just made that up, actually. But I'm, ex uh, uh, I'm expecting in the future. I want to. I want to see teacher. I want to see pictures with Snowden and Putin hanging out, maybe riding horseback with no shirt on. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> We're going to save the world. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, well, I know, but that's off topic. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm off topic with that. No, no, but I, I was remembering uh, at the beginnings where, where when he was uh, seeking for asylum, and there was a lot Snowden, of uh, yeah. uh, speculation on, on where, and Russia was one that uh, was saying no, no, mm -hmm. not at all. And but I was sure, I was really sure that uh, they were yeah, at the end going to give him the asylum. You you thought so? Yeah. Yeah, I I did too, actually. It's like the same with Syria. Uh, I knew the U.S. was going to. Yeah. Right. To it just dissipate in some way. It's going to do something. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very interested to see what happens with that situation. Uh, wow. I. It's very confusing. It's very woo up in the air now. Because I don't really know what Congress is going to do. Obama just said, uh, told Congress that mm -hmm. it's up to you. You have to make the decision, which mm -hmm. frankly is the way it's supposed to work. That's mm -hmm. He's the first president in a long time mm -hmm. who's actually hasn't gone behind the back of Congress. He's directly mm -hmm. approaching him. I, I applaud him for that. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, than, I think so, yeah. Ones. But I have no idea what Congress is going to do, quite honestly, because I, what I've seen in the news, they're all over the place with what they think and what their opinions are. I have re Republicans and Democrats. Very confusing. Don't know. I don't. I don't understand the system of American American um, politics. Uh, That's firstly, okay, Yuki. Firstly, Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Yuki. I'm sorry. Firstly, uh, a president have a decision, yeah, and after this, he he send he send uh, his uh, maybe uh, offer to Congress, and Congress uh, vote it vote it he uh, uh, president offer president request. Really. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can work right. both ways. All right. We're, for example, you're trying. They're trying to create. Um, for, exa um, uh, of, uh, uh, for example, uh, here uh, now now world uh, now now there um, um, all people, um, many people uh, say, says about the crisis in Syria. Yeah, Syria uh -huh. attack. Uh, Obama. Ob Obama. Uh, may, Obama uh, proposed the the, uh, the military uh, inter in intervention to Syria. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, but but he did he he can't do uh, for he can't do directly. He he have to send his request to the Congress. Yeah. Um. Okay. No? You don't understand. Nobody understands, Yuki, because the way that it's worded, and if you have a good enough lawyer, you can, uh, you know, do lawyer speak. Lawyers, politicians, same thing. Um, most politicians are lawyers. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. According to what was written, I don't know, a long time ago, mm -hmm. the the president. Uh, needs to before he can declare war, he has mm -hmm. to have it approved by Congress. In reality, mm -hmm. that has not happened since World War II. Vietnam, yeah, was, uh, Grenada, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, yeah. Iraq yes. again. Yes, it, yeah, that, that hasn't that was been done. Going to be, 
That yeah. was going to be my question. Did because as far as I remember, in uh, for uh, the last one, uh, what was the official name after the 9/11 when Bush uh, invaded Iraq? Oh, what was his? Uh, Na shock and awe, I don't know. <laughs> well, the the name for that war. Uh, but in that case, yeah, okay. the, the Gulf War. As far as I remember, yeah. Well, yeah, um, the proper um, uh, way should, should have been to, to ask Congress for permission. That's right. But he didn't, right? He right. Just, um, right. Right. So they get around that, Yuki, on a yes. technicality. Oh, it's not a war. It's a limited strike. We're just sending in advisors. It's not a war. It's a police action. Vietnam was not a war, according to American politicians and American history. Vietnam was a police action. Uh, <laughs> American police action. Semantics. So sorry, do you understand? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it was... Go ahead, uh, Yuki. Sorry. Uh, thank you. Uh, American president can 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 declare war without the permission of uh, Congress or not? Yes. That <laughs> again. Yes. You you are absolutely correct. He needs Congress to give him permission. That's right. Mm -hmm. Unless it's it's an emergency, a national emergency, then the president can do it by himself. Mm -hmm. But a national emergency is. A, is supposed to be when somebody's attacking United States. All right? Mm -hmm. Then we can call it a national emergency. That's what Bush oh. did, for example, Juan. It's a national mm -hmm. emergency. Yeah, they blew up the trade towers. I have to mm -hmm. do something right away so I don't have time for Congress. Oh. It's, it's uh, baloney. And, and neither, and neither the, the UN, because they. Uh, right? They, right, they, right? They didn't report there were actually those. Uh, uh, massive destruction. Uh, right, right. Uh, so, how is the case well, in, in, in the case of Iraq? Uh, how how uh, is the case in, uh, like uh, like a Syria crisis? It is not an emergency, maybe. No, maybe it's emergency. Not. Maybe maybe emergency. Maybe not an emergency. It is difficult to decide. Uh, this semantic. is an emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what is what do you consider an emergency? That's why it's so confusing, Yuki, because they mm -hmm. can play with the words. They yes, play with yes. the words like lawyers do, and <laughs> yeah. you know they yeah. they can do anything they want in reality. Syrian, Syrian government might use a chemical weapon. Yeah. Might, might oh, there's, there's no doubt they that somebody maybe immediately maybe somebody used chemical not, weapons. Uh, somebody no, used maybe, chemical weapons. They they have time, that much knowledge. But 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 this time uh, it appears it is in, in, indeed true that the. Uh, more and more evidence to the, seems to be. Well, uh, according to the last uh, or what I read, uh, uh, the UN uh, the UN inspectors did report that it was true. Really? And, uh, no, the UN no, Julia, Julia, no, 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 no. I, I, I want to say that that it is uh, difficult to de decide it Im uh, the emergency or not. Oh, emergency. I, yeah. I I I want I don't want to say he, he, uh, chemical uh, weapon uh, is uh, there is a chemical weapon or not? Uh, no, no. I I want to say it is emergency or not. It's very difficult to decide. Uh -huh. So yes, it is, and, and I agree. I, I agree. You, I, I agree. And clearly, Obama has decided it is not an emergency, and that's why he's bringing it yes. to Congress, which I think is good. Uh, have more mm -hmm. people deciding mm -hmm. what makes sense and wait mm -hmm. for more evidence frankly I think they need to wait for the UN that's just my opinion they mm -hmm. you don't, you don't I, run around I, do killing you? people until you have all the no, information but, 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 but you know I, I, it, I, even I, even for me like I'm not a, a US citizen but uh,